let's talk about a typical question someone's going to ask. How do I choose a career and where do I start? Hi, I'm Carol Henninger, founder of Need a Job Now Tips, a website dedicated to researching and bringing you up to the minute information on the internet, and creator of this free training video training series on helping you decide what career to choose. And I want to welcome you to Need a Job Now Tips Academy. In this free training video series, I'm going to show you how you can use your knowledge, expertise, and common sense to decide what career is best for you. So sit back and enjoy this five minute video. It will be worth the time. There are three different scenarios. The first scenario is to is where you're looking to change your career for a brand new career. Maybe you're tired of pushing that pencil and you just feel there's totally something new out there for you. The second scenario is staying in a particular field but looking to expand into other areas within that field. While the third scenario is someone who has recently graduated college or someone that is looking to go back into the workforce after they've taken a, an ex extended absence. So they're looking to enter into a brand new career field. This present video presentation discusses the first scenario, a person looking to change her career for a brand new career, a complete career makeover. Now most people fail to have a career makeover because they're need they need their existing salaries to continue their lifestyle. Does that sound like you? Or perhaps they're unhappy but not unhappy enough. They're not unhappy enough to make a change. Or perhaps it's just too much work to make a change, any change, and their pain is not great enough to force a, ch a change. And Tony Roberts refers this to this as the why. People have to have great enough why to make a change. So people often ask me, how can I successfully switch careers without having to give something up or make a huge sacrifice? What are five things I can do? Just give me a list of five things or four things. What can I do? What four things can I do today? Well, step one, you can start by doing some soul searching, discovering your strengths. As I mentioned in a previous video, strengths are not activities that we're good at. Strengths are activities that empower us. So that's the first step, discovering your strengths. What activities do you do empower you? Step two is to expand your network of opportunities by not saying no to new opportunities. How many times have someone asked you to help out or go out with them to an event, but because you were self-conscious or you didn't want to make the commitment, you said no? It could have led to an opportunity you otherwise would not have had. The third step is to volunteer your time or to look for a part-time job doing something you would never otherwise do. By doing this part-time job, you discover if you really want to switch careers in this field or not. And if not, you've only wasted a few weeks or months discovering it's not what you thought it was. And the fourth step is to take the things that you've learned and rinse and repeat. But people have a tendency to do some of these things or to do them half-assed and then wonder why they have failed. And if they have friends or family who are not very supportive to begin with, the friends or family say, I told you so. The reason the failure rate is so high is because people don't make this change a priority. It may be on their wish list or their five-year plan list, but it's not in the top three things to do this year list. Therefore, they do not put their effort into making the change. And they need to change their mindset in order for it to be a higher priority. One reason Weight Watchers and programs like it are so successful is due to the support system that's built in. For example, you could find a support system that encourages you to explore opportunities or every time you take action towards accomplishing your goal, you, you can e email their, your support network for reinforcement and encouragement. Or you could pair up with another person who's considering a career change and work in collaboration with another another. And that's how you make change. That's how you start. So what can you do next? Well, first, you can create a positive support network. Or you can create a buddy system. Implement the forceps system mentioned in this seminar. Go out to our website at needajobnowtips.net and download the two worksheets, The Secret to Professional Freedom. Give us a thumbs up on this video 
and share this video with your friends. And also leave a comment below. We'll be checking comments and responding. And I'll meet you in the next video.